it did blow my mind. In fact, I, I knew about it before the script because, uh, you know, Damien told me about the idea pretty early on, and um, when I finally saw it in the script form, I was really fired up about how he executed it all and thought it was a great thing for the show and um, really feel like it's going to make the next three seasons of the show move really forward and it has a lot of thrust and it's going to have a lot of momentum and the show's moving really quickly now and feel really good about it. When you're doing flashbacks, uh, you know, you start to put together the puzzle of this person prior to the crash on the island, but when you take that leap forward and um, you start doing flash forwards, it's really important when you play those moments to know what's transpired, how you got from the island, how Jack got back to the world, what happened in the interim, and why he's suicidal and an oxycodone addict. I mean, all of those are answers that you kind of have to have or have some broad framework for if you're going to try to play the stuff. So, yeah, that was crucial, and Damon and I talked quite a bit about that. We're still doing some flashbacks on the show. They're not all flash forwards now, but, uh, you know, time has become a very interesting thing on Lost, and I think that even the context of the story deals with time and obviously the structure of the show with the flashbacks, the present time on island, and now flash forwards. Uh, time is a major theme on Lost and is going to play a huge role in it.